guys, Jules here, the amateur gardener. Of course, I don't use that channel anymore. I just put the stuff on here. Uh, how to grow your own summer squash? Uh, I'm not an expert. I'm gonna put the A in mature. So there you go. Two months later, this is what we got. Uh, you have to go back, look at the backyard blog, follow it. But essentially, March 21st, this was just a dirt bed. Now I have been working this piece for well over 10 years. Uh, it's clay area and uh, put a lot of cow manure and topsoil in there. And this is what you got. Look at those giant squash leaves. Yep. This is a zucchini, the one in the foreground. Second one there, that is a hill of uh, crookneck yellow. And then that's a zucchini. And then the back row, in the very back, is yellow neck seconds zucchini and then yellow neck again yeah so first of all we zigzagged and what you're looking at are two plants per hill and we did hill this up is it better drainage and then we zigzagged so left corner there is your yellow middle over here is your yellow back corner is your yellow and then right corner is zucchini the middle on that row is zucchini and then the front on the right is zucchini although you see that yellow those are actually the blossoms yep and as you can see we've got some uh, produce coming already there's zucchini in there this is May 19 or so. It didn't take long for them to get up. You can also notice, now this is the north side. To your right of the screen is the north side. And you can see my natural hedge. Got honeysuckle in there to bring in pollinators. Uh, but back there, those last two, those are the shortest. Because they don't get as much sun. You read your tags and they say, you know, six to eight. They really mean that, okay? But you can see these guys up here are huge. All right, because they get plenty of sun. And then one other thing. All I've done so far is dust it. You can see a little bit left over. That's sevens. Try to keep the critters off. And I'll be adding a few marigolds in here. I'm sure you all know about marigolds. And we should have a good season. As long as we don't get blossom rot going. And if you get blossom rot going, there's not much you can do about it during the season. If that happens to you, try it again, but add some lime. I mean, your soil can have plenty of calcium, but it could be locked up. Typically, blossom rot is due to a calcium deficiency. Uh, could be stress too, but <clears throat> very, very, very extreme uh, heat waves. But typically, blossom rot comes because the plant didn't get to the calcium. And if you've got low pH, it doesn't matter how much calcium's in there. So if you need to raise your pH, just add some lime, but you gotta do that beforehand. So if I get uh, blossom rot at this point, it's too late, I screwed up. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that. Of course my woodpecker, I don't know if you heard him back in there. <laughs> that dude comes out, he hits the fence, treat it while he's hitting my shed. Did you hear that? Oh, Mr. Woody, he comes out in the evening and just drills the hell out of these trees. Anyway, three, two, one, peace, y'all. We'll see you next time.